I think we can uh, gnaw on this one for a little bit and sort of have maybe a larger discussion going on here, music-wise. All right, Joey Badass is a better artist than Drake, but Drake gets more media attention. Okay. But why does he get more media attention? We could say that Drake does more dramatic things for the headlines than Joey Badass typically does. Joey Badass has had some headlines, but I, I think Drake uh, has generally, generally speaking, like more drama going on in the headlines than Joey Badass does generally. But on top of that, like what really drives the headlines for Drake is that there's interest in Drake. If Drake wipes his ass, there is an article about it because there are people who are obsessed with Drake. And why are people obsessed with Drake? Because he has a very large audience. Why does Drake have a very large audience? Because his music and his style and his aesthetic appeals very widely. Um, I, I would say what Joey does is obviously great, requires a lot of talent, uh, but simultaneously it's very niche. It's very niche. It's, it's, it's only going to appeal to a very specific subset of passionate, hardcore, hip hop listeners who, you know, want to listen to something that is, you know, a tribute to the form. Drake is a pop crossover artist. Sure, he does have tracks that appeal to the heads, but for the most part, he makes pop music with like a hip hop flair and, you know, it's something that everybody can enjoy. Everybody can listen to, you know, no matter what kind of your level of expertise or, you know, enjoyment is uh, with hip hop or just music in general. You know, he just makes very snappy chill, laid back, earworm type shit. And that's just what's marketable now. Partially because, you know, Drake has helped usher in an era where that is in demand. Um, I don't know if, uh, you know, there's much more to add other than that. But, uh, you know, I, I think the lesson here is that uh, being more talented than somebody else at something doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get more attention, more headlines, more success. You know, and if you are going to go the more niche route where you're more abstract or what you're doing is more technically proficient, whatever it is, uh, you may have to accept the fate that you may not be the most popular artist on the planet. Are there some artists who are able to walk that tightrope successfully? Sure. Look at Kendrick Lamar. Music is very conceptual, very technically proficient on some tracks, uh, and yet he's still one of the most wildly popular rappers walking the planet. Uh, you know, you don't have to go the Drake route to be successful. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it is what it is, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think at this point, Joey seems pretty, at least if you take it from the records off of his new record, um, he seems pretty happy with where he's at. Seems like he's really enjoying his success. So, you know, why make a stink over it?